So if you do a lot of photo and video editing, you probably use programs like Adobe Premiere Pro, Lightroom, and Photoshop, and you know how demanding these can be on your PC. You have to have a pretty good setup to not want to pull your hair out. So lately, I've done a few upgrades and I did a few tests to show you how you can make a few tweaks and spend just a little bit of money and get some pretty good results when it comes to performance. Today we're going to look at Premiere Pro and I'm going to show you the difference that a RAM upgrade makes, specifically from 16 to 32 gigs. I'm also going to give you a few tips and tricks so that you can improve performance across the board in all your Adobe products. Let's get going! Okay, so here we are on Premiere Pro, and I wanted to show you guys just a quick RAM upgrade and show you exactly what that looks like in terms of performance increase and uh, just what to expect out of this thing. So you can see here in my first test, initially I have 16 gigs, and this is DDR4 RAM. So I'm going to render a big 4K file here, it's about 6 minutes long, and I wanted to see just how long it takes, and then we're going to compare it to having 32 gigs and see what that looks like. So let's go ahead here and render the first test. Now if you're not a huge computer person, the good news is that RAM is a super simple upgrade and on your average desktop computer can be done in about 2-3 to three minutes. If you have a laptop it can be a little bit more complicated, but pretty much anybody can do it. It's also relatively inexpensive, with my upgrade of 16 gigs costing about $85. And if you're not sure what RAM does, basically it lets your computer be more efficient. It lets it access files faster and do more things at once. That's the simple version, but if you want to know more about RAM, just Google it. Okay, so although this test is riveting, let's fast forward to the end. And the result is this file was rendered in 4K in 14 minutes and 10 seconds. So now that we have a baseline, let's go ahead and install the new RAM so that we can check out the results after the second test. Okay, so we're back. And now we've got 32 gigs of RAM. Basically that quick and simple. So let's go ahead and render the same clip in 4K, same settings, same everything, and see if the results are any different. So spoiler alert, this is going to improve your rendering time in Premiere Pro, as well as increase performance across the board, whether you're doing photo or video editing. In fact, you're going to notice better performance in pretty much everything that you do. Especially if you're guilty of leaving things open in the background like email or web browsers, your whole computer experience is just going to be faster, smoother, and better. So skipping all the way to the end of the test, test number two rendering the same 4K file just with upgraded RAM. The computer did it in a time of 12 minutes and 6 seconds. That's over 2 minutes and nearly 20% faster. Needless to say, I'm pretty happy with such a performance boost from such a small investment. Okay, so you've installed your RAM, but it's also important to make sure that your software is utilizing your RAM to its full potential, and your whole computer for that matter. So what you should do is head into your preferences in any of the programs that you're using and make sure it's set up for the best possible outcome for you. In Premiere Pro, for example, I suggest you head up to Preferences, and then go into the Memory tab, and make sure it's set to Performance. Regardless of how much RAM you do have, it's always good practice to try and close the programs that you're not using. This is going to allow better performance for the stuff that you are using. It's fairly similar here in Photoshop. All you have to do is find your Preferences, and then find your Performance tab. Here you can choose how much memory you let Photoshop use, and make sure you have Use Graphics Processor enabled. Here in Lightroom, once again, up to Edit, find your preferences, 
and then click over to performance. Once again, make sure that you use graphics processor as checked. And also make sure you have ample room for your cache sizes, assuming you have lots of hard drive space free, which you should. There are a lot of common issues when it comes to photo and video editing software, some of which you may have run into. Here are a few tips to minimize your chance of running into something like this, as well as keeping your system and software running smoothly. 1. Make sure you always have lots of hard drive space available. If you don't, you're going to run into issues. It's as simple as that. 2. Keep your system drivers and software up to date. Oftentimes, compatibility issues can be solved with a simple update. So keep an eye out for that. And 3. I said it before, but close programs that you're not using. This is going to free up valuable resources for your computer to operate at its best. So even if you don't use Adobe products, you can utilize these tips for pretty much anything out there. My last tip for you is for your computer in general. Now when we buy a computer, it's definitely an investment and hopefully it'll last us a few years. So my advice to you is buy once and cry once. Spend as much money as your budget will allow to get exactly what you need and maybe even a little bit more just to help future proof it. So now you know you don't have to do a heck of a lot to get some awesome performance out of what you probably already have. And if you want it to go above and beyond, you can just make a small investment for a pretty good outcome. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you liked this video. If you did, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and drop your questions and comments down below. I will leave affiliate links in the description for you as well in case you wanted to pick up anything that we've talked about in this video. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time, guys.